Thanks for joining us at Right On Replicas, where we bring you the best model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you by Diagostini Collectibles. In this review, we cover Diagostini's Volkswagen T1 bus in the famous Samba version. It's a 23 window van with fully functional parts and metal pieces where they need to be. The body, uh, the chassis, and the suspension parts are all premium die cast metal and there are wonderful fabrics and, and textures uh, involved throughout the build. So let me explain a little bit about how this uh, model comes to you. These are available um, as a subscription. If you've ever wanted to get into high-end collectibles, this is how you can do it and nice, affordable, easy payments. You pay for each shipment as it's shipped to you and that way you spread it out over time to get yourself a really exquisite collectible item. Now the model itself weighs in at over 17 pounds. It's also quite large. It's a 1 8 scale so it's 21 inches long approximately 9 inches high and just about 9 uh, nine inches wide. So it's a big model uh, and it could be the centerpiece of your collection or it could be um, just one that you want to fill in because Diagostini also sells other uh, models which you can see on their website. But as each subscription uh, um, payment is made uh, for the parts that are shipped to you, you get a certain number of pieces that will be included in the total build. And I'm going to explain the build but I won't really need to. If you see the instructions, you'll realize these are very, very easy to follow. And most of it is uh, constructed simply with screws and press fits. So there's very little that you might need uh, other in the way of tools except for maybe a set of small screwdrivers, uh, Phillips heads, you know, a hobby knife and some nippers for uh, some of those things. But for the most part, the, this uh, whole model is ready to assemble. In addition to the pieces that come in the shipments, you'll also receive a, a full color brochure of instructions, which in the beginning also includes a couple of pages of the entire history of the Volkswagen Transporter. And as you can see, also the step-by-step -step instructions are included as well. They're very easy to follow, so you can't really make a mistake. Wait, there's more. Along with your regular shipments, you'll also receive some exclusive gifts. These things come in certain, uh, you know, measure with some of the uh, packages that are shipped to you, and they're free. Um, in addition to those gifts, you also can uh, get yourself a 124 scale replica of the Samba by paying with PayPal. I think it's a pretty sweet deal overall. This review continues with steps 13 through 15 for the VW T1 Samba bus. That's the 1-8 scale Diagostini collectibles kit. Now we're going to uh, show you the uh, few steps that are in this particular package and uh, there's some interesting tips along the way but uh, as usual excellent quality so um, hold on and we'll show you the rest. As you can see here, the um, uh, step uh, 13 is uh, to continue on with the portions of the right front seat. And we'll have to actually go back and grab a piece uh, that we um, you know, put together back in uh, section 8.1. And as you can see, this is one simple piece. It comes in uh, packaging and this is uh, for step 13A. We're going to assemble this unit. And with the contents of the package here, you can see that uh, there's the top and the bottom of this uh, seat bottom. And it always comes with the uh, attachment screws as well as one additional one in case you drop it. I'm going to show you here uh, that uh, you just uh, use a, uh, a 2.4 millimeter uh, Phillips screwdriver for these uh, screws. And of course there's four of them. Now I could show you how to drill uh, each one into position like some other sites, but I, you already know how to do that. Just make sure that the uh, seating portion, that white portion there, off-white, uh, is out away from the bottom, the base, when you screw it in to make sure it seats proper. And now you see here at the top there the, um, the seat back parts that come from step 8 and a couple of screws that are going to be used to attach the, uh, the back to the uh, bottom. Now there's a little, a bit of a trick here. 
you need to push the seat back brackets fully into the depressions uh, in the bottom of the lower cushion to seat them all the way in. And then uh, at, screw those uh, into position in the holes provided and keep the bottom of the seat back on top of the lower cushion to make sure it doesn't bind and hold it away from where it needs to seat. And you see here the um, um, completed right front seat uh, is very attractive and it looks just like the original uh, with some soft vinyl. Uh, it has great texture too. Now, see uh, here in step uh, 14 we're going to start on some of the interior door trim. Uh, and so we're going to you know retrieve the doors uh, from issue 6 uh, and we're going to apply these pieces to the uh, inside of the door. Um, they come in con uh, complementary gray uh, panel colors and we'll put those into position with the door handle. And here you see the contents of uh, this step and we're going to use a little trick to uh, install these. Go ahead and grab the uh, assembled uh, outer door portion there from step 6 and we're going to add that to uh, this and uh, along with the rest of the panels. The door handles are keyed. In other words, there's a, a tab on the uh, door handle uh, that uh, you know goes into the panel uh, that fits right into a receiver. Now uh, you just screw it in from the back side with one of the screws. Now you can just snap the panels into place. The two larger ones need a little help. They're a little bit wide uh, so that they make sure they snap in and stay in position. So use a screwdriver after you've uh, installed the, um, the leading edge there uh, tab into its receiver uh, and use the screwdriver behind the, uh, the one on the left uh, to just kind of force it into position and then snap it down into place. Now you can go ahead and put the uh, uh, smaller panel into place in the lower corner there. It snaps in real easy. Now we're going to work on the right front door inner panel and trim and fortunately it's the exact mirror opposite of the left side uh, but we'll step through the sequence here you really get the, uh, uh, the contents out of the package uh, just spread it out there so that you can see what you have uh, and it will look uh, just like the ones on the other side so go ahead and grab the, the door uh, from a previous uh, step you know, and we're going to use that, of course, uh, to install the interior panels into position. Now, once again, you can start with that uh, center panel. And I noticed that the door handle was at an odd angle uh, on the key. So I actually removed the key and then turned it down a little bit and screwed it in tight so that it looked more natural. Normally, they don't, they don't angle up like that. So I made a little adjustment to um, where the normal position is. And as you can see, all three panels are now in position, and this step number 15 is finished. Well, we hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review, and so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand of any of our reviews, or you can find us on Facebook or our website right on replicas.com. Thanks.